All right, welcome back to another episode of Sweet X Salty Gangsters. So this here today, we're gonna make a Swiss roll or try to make a dojima roll, which is basically a roll cake. And we're gonna do a matcha version and that's gonna be epic. Pretty simple ingredients, you only need some matcha, flour, eggs, and some sugar. Simple as that, we're gonna make a very fluffy and super moist sponge. So I've got two mixers, one's gonna make the meringue and the other one's gonna whip up the egg yolks till it's pale and fluffy. Egg yolks in, the sugar, and in the mixer behind me, egg whites and sugar. So the egg yolks on first. And slowly making sure that sugar gets caught because sometimes when you don't kind of mix it up properly, bits of egg yolks start to cook and cure and you get clumpy egg yolks. So while that's whipping away, the next thing we're gonna do is mix in our matcha with some water. You want to kind of dilute the matcha because matcha can be quite starchy and very powdery. It can really get claggy. You wanna loosen that up, making sure it doesn't get clumpy in your mix. So I've got some boiling water, I'm gonna whisk it in. You wanna make a matcha paste. All right, so check that out. Nice, green, vibrant, smells incredible. And you kind of want that to be as smooth as you possibly can. You gotta make sure you get good matcha. That's super important. Now, once you get it nice and smooth, smooth enough, then you put your flour in. And all we're gonna do is whisk this in until it becomes a nice paste. Now, if it's too dry, add a little bit more water. So all that matcha is gonna absorb that liquid. So I've got the matcha paste and my egg yolks are almost at the point where I want it. I'm gonna start whisking up my meringue. Meringue is done to a peak, to a stiff peak. Now this is where things get a little bit sexy. Egg yolks nice, pale and fluffy, just the way I want it. And now it's time to kind of fold in your matcha paste. You wanna be gentle with this. You don't wanna kick out the air. So we're gonna try and make this as fluffy as possible. So look at that, it's diluting into the egg yolks. Make sure you get everything until it's well incorporated. Then next up, got our meringue. Get these fluffy boys in and give that a nice fold. That is a lot of mixture. See a little volume you've made here? That is a shitload of cake batter. Trust me, when these come out of the oven, they are damn good. I'm trying to work this with smooth batter and as well get all the meringue clumps out as well. Woo! That's so good. All right, now I've got a tray here. I'm gonna pour everything in. Flat spatula. Just sort of work your way to get it spread out evenly. Bam, into the oven. This will only take eight minutes. That's quick, that is quick, all right? Eight minutes, take it out at 170 degrees. So it's a very quick cake and it's easy to do. Oh, 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 oh. This is the moment that just, I don't know if you can hear that crispy, crispy air bubbles, but that cake is so fragile. It's very, very moist. You can tell and super soft and airy. Thanks to that meringue and putting air into the egg yolks. So I'm gonna pop this to the fridge until it sets and completely cool down before we can start putting cream. And we're gonna make some mixed berry jam to go with it as well. All right, so for the berry jam, I've got a bunch of frozen mixed berries in here. This is elderflower cordial. So what you need to do is grab a little bit of water into this. I've already got it in. And I've got a mixture of sugar, citric acid, and pectin. NH pectin, which is apple pectin as well. And that's what's gonna make it all jammy. But what we wanna do first is cook the berries down to become really soft before we can add in the pectin and the sugar mix. Trying to protect myself from the berries. I'm being brave right now. Oh shit, no, I've already got some on me. To turn on the heat, or turn off the heat actually. And what you want to do is whisk in your sugar, citric acid, and pectin mix. 
So once the berries start to break down, that's when you want to put it in. So whisk it in slowly. And it's really important to have that blend. Otherwise, when you add your pectin in on its own, what's going to happen is it will start to set on the outside and the little clumps of it will be everywhere. So the sugar is going to help it separate. Keep back on, keep whisking and you'll see it start to jam up. You want to boil this for a few minutes. What happens is that pectin starts to cook a lot, activate more and the water starts to reduce. So all the jammy goodness starts to kind of, you know, reduce, intensify the berry flavor. All right, so I've got my jammy jams all done. I can see kind of thickened up. And now the next thing I'm going to do is pour into a tray and put into the fridge, let it set. The reason why I'm using elderflower is because it adds fragrance to it and has kind of a tang to it as well. Okay, got to take this out of the tray. And this is the tricky part because it's so fragile. I'm going to make sure you peel the baking paper away just so carefully. No, it'll break apart too easily. Now, I'm gonna roll it this way. So what I wanna do is trim the edges, making sure they're nice. And FYI, this is gonna be super moist. It's gonna get stuck to your knife. Do a little sample. Mm. Good shit like this makes me happy, honestly. So simple. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's like a cooking and mukbang. This here, again, it's my favorite damn thing. You might be sick of it. I don't, I don't want to show you again. No, I'm going to show you twice. Go watch my moss video or go watch, what was it? What did I film the other time? Oh, my sneak is tight. So go watch that on my moss video and this is a jasmine tea infused diplomat cream and the reason why I'm using this is because, I don't know, it's just tasty. No, it's not jasmine tea. Sorry, this is Earl Grey tea diplomat cream. You can use whipped cream on its own, give that extra fluffiness, lightness, but I want some kind of dense creaminess into this. So what I'm going to do, pop this ever so lightly from my soft sponge. I actually made one earlier and it, I think it sucks because I try to make a dojima roll. A dojima roll you have like a fat log of cream and the rest of the outside is just sponge. This one I'll try to make into a Swiss roll. You get a little nice snail circle. So a little bit of that old gray cream, spread it out. And I don't want to put too much cream on this one because otherwise it'll just start to spill everywhere. So a nice thin layer will do. Next up we're gonna put in here is the berry jam. Mixed berry jam to bring some acidity to this deliciousness. It's still a little bit warm, but you can see it's set because of the pectin. Now if I do that, that looks like jam, doesn't it? Yes, it does, sir. I'm gonna watch that up, cool it down. And slap it on. Just here and there, slap it on. And all we're gonna do is just spread it out as thinly as you can all around. Grab the spatula again. Now this is a lot firmer than the cream, so what it's gonna do is kinda of blend in a little bit into the cream. And that is absolutely fine, my friends. I want this roll cake to be a little bit interesting, not boring. If it starts to spool on the sides, just give it a little nice gentle scrape making sure everything is all in the center. And if your mixture kind of gets a little bit too much, scoop some out. So my mixture now is a little bit too high. So what I'm gonna do is go, whoop, cut some out. Should probably use a bowl, but whatever. Now for the difficult part, I hate this part because it's not easy. I'm gonna fold and use the same baking paper that I have here, just like that, and you're done. So now it's time to fold it over. Just gently. Oh man. Just little by little. Pull that back, peel it back. And then I'm gonna do that again. Just grabbing that. Ooh. Oi. Give a little rub and tug on the log. Peel that back again. Oh shit. Look at that. 
so moist. And I'm gonna roll it one more time. Bam! So here I've got some cling film. You don't have to do this one, but this is what kind of keeps it tight. Keep that shape of that thick lug. And here I will peel it back and start working as cleanly as I possibly can. Pull it back again, roll all the time, and then take that baking paper off, out. See, this, if you, I don't know if you can see this, but like, it's really moist. That's, ah, I can't wait to dig into this one. And if it kind of spills out here, it's okay. We're not gonna use the ends. All right, now, this is the final step. What we're gonna do is just roll that over. Keep that tight, roll again, keep that tight, again and again until you get to the end of your clean film. And from here, tuck this in, pinch the ends, and we're just gonna roll it like a fat fucking sausage, just like that. And you can see where the ends meet, that's where you want to kind of, that's where, so you know, oh shit, no, 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 no. So that's when you know at the, where the ends meet, just to rest it on that. Like Shrek's dick, delicious. So that goes into the fridge for at least an hour to chill. I've got one I prepared earlier, but I want to see how shit it is. If it's really shit, I'll wait a little bit longer and I'll pop that open the next day. So I've got this little mama chode. This one here is a lot thicker. So this is my attempt of making a dojima roll, which is basically a fat circle of cream in the middle. But I think my cream was a bit too loose. But I want to see anyway. I'm going to truth, guys. Fucking hell. There's one big protection right now. Ooh. Guys, I'm scared for this one. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be shit for sure. For Shalski. I'm gonna cut down here. Woo! If it's not, that will be amazing. Oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I can't. I can't. I can't. You guys have to try this at home. This is so damn good. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm gonna cut about two fingers worth. Of this roll cake. There she is. Doesn't look pretty in the middle, but it tastes beautiful. Give me a little light dust of matcha. All right, it's a sad looking dojima cake. So I want to wait till that one chills, but that is so delicious. I can't wait to dig into the other one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been looking for. This is probably gonna be much better in shape, but just as good in taste than the failed dojima roll. So this is the Swiss roll. You get that little, you get that snail pattern in the middle. Oh, I feel the excitement. Peel that right off. It's a fat dong right there. I'm gonna dust this first. Or you can roll it in much, uh, gonna cut the tip. Ooh. Okay, fingers crossed. I'm gonna truth. Oh yes. It's good. It's like E for entertainment. <laughs> Let's get a fat one right there. There you have it. 
That is my matcha roll cake with Earl Grey cream and mixed berry jam. Mega moist, mega noise, and just the, I don't know, everything about this is really good. I love matcha personally, it's not too bitter, it's not too sweet, it's really nice and fragrant. And those berries have added a little bit of texture to it. It may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll be damn pretty in your mouth. So tuck in to this really easy recipe. You'll love it. Best with tea, best with coffee. And I hope you like the recipe when you try this at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. I'll see you guys next time.